Dan Machi Season 5 confirmed and Tsukimichi Isekai returns and all the different anime news from any news. Let's see what he has to say. From Dan Machi Season 5 and the return of Iron Blooded Orphans, all the way to a new Ghibli movie and several upcoming Isekai, okay. this is what you missed from anime in the past month or so. What did I miss? To start things off with previews for returning Isn't anime. This Blue Exorcist? I suppose by now many of you have heard that Blue Exorcist is coming back. You guys kind of watched it. This is another shonen show. I, the designs look cool. I haven't seen it, but I heard it was actually pretty decent. With the last season having been almost seven years ago, season three will be coming shortly. In seven January, years? This time covering the manga's Shimane Illuminati arc. I can't really speak too much on what to expect, but when it comes to the quality and how it compares to season one and season two, a new studio and staff does mean things will likely be New studio is always a shitty thing because all the designs might get fucked up, but the art looks really good. I don't know. I don't know if Shonen is like a popular topic. It's not like an isekai show, so maybe you guys don't want to watch it, but I'd be down to watch this, man. Different this time around. It should be fine, though, considering the new studio is responsible for works like I Want to Eat Your Pancreas and Ushio and Tori. One more time. It's responsible for works like I Want to Eat Your Pancreas and... I WANT TO EAT YOUR PANCREAS! Like the organ. The, a show like that exists? Why? And Ushio and Tora. Another anime returning in January. Close coat, coat! The Elite and its third season. Yes. This guys, was known since. Guys, guys, little, little, little hashtag ad. Look, guys, on my Patreon, Coat Season 1, Episode 1. We're getting into it, bro. Uploads are starting soon on YouTube, too. Don't worry. It's the release of season two, but it's only just recently that we got this trailer for it. Mm -hmm. A quick tease as to what we're going to get from the mixed training camp arc. So it's another training camp arc. It's a mixed one, right? Because they were at this, like, these mountain temples and people are doing like the fucking cardio. But it's like, why the fuck are people doing cardio? We don't do fucking exercise. We don't do... Imagine it's like an athletic competition, which would be actually pretty cool. We did have a sports festival, but it seems like it's going to be Arisu versus, you know, uh, Kyo, right? I hope fucking Koenji does something, though. I don't know if this is something any of you are caught up on, but if mm. you haven't watched season mm. Mm. we gonna get caught up on a season one plus season two videos. Cause I know some of you guys are saying, where did my rest of my classroom of the elite videos go? And it was on my old channel before it got nuked from copyright stuff, but I did have backup files. That's why I'm slowly posting it onto Patreon. And when December hits or whenever we're done with Adi Furata, Coat re-uploads are gonna happen on YouTube for you guys that haven't seen it yet. Season 2 or even Season 1 for that matter, you should definitely check it out if you're into psychological school dramas. It's great. Especially with the heavy hitting climax that Season 2 and Heavy hitting. Yes. Kyo's fucking, what's it called? Calligraphy and piano skills, right? Heavy hitting climax. <laughs> Beaten. Wait. This is a separate- no, 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 no. This is a scene from season two trailer, right? This is season two trailer where Koji was on top of a rooftop, beating down on somebody, but we don't know who this person is. I thought that this was going to be Ryuan, but no, the Ryuan fight happened indoors. Like, what is this? Who is it beating up here? No spoilers, no spoilers. That season two ended on. Now, it was a few months ago that Tsukimichi revealed their second season. <sighs> Tsukimichi, man. Skimichi, bro. Are we gonna fucking watch Skimichi on this channel or not? I've been polling. I've been asking you guys. Do you want to watch this shit or not? Look at this. I guess Slime is up next, but Skimichi Season 2 is coming up. You guys want to watch this? I'm waiting. Where, where are you guys at? Where are you guys at? But it was only a few weeks ago that we just got our first trailer for it. It's an isekai I didn't think much of back when it aired in 2021, but I actually ended up enjoying it quite- He has a John Smith mask on. What the fuck? Quite a bit after finishing it. Much of the same staff are returning to- Wait, wait, he has a John Smith- He has a John Smith that and he has Kuna's fucking open fuga, dude. Do it Hold this up. Season, but with JC staff animating it instead of Studio C2C, there might be some differences in the animation quality. Wow, that's a lot of- You know what? I kind of want to watch this now. Why is nobody voting for it, bro? I want to watch this. The end art style. As for There's an actual expect, pig. Well, in addition- it looks like fucking Ainz from Overlord 2, right? To a consecutive two-core season starting in January, it looks like we're finally gonna get Tsukimichi's <sighs> other story. That's two cores, man. That's fucking like 24 episodes, man. Please, I need more good performing 24 episode series. Guys, please, why don't you want about Tsukimichi, please? Well, Slime is also a lot of anime, right? So that's, we, we, can, we can wait on this. If you want to watch this later, we can definitely do that, but we're gonna have to wait just a little bit. A story about the heroes that were summoned after Makoto, who without spoiling anything are with the kingdom training to fight uh -huh. the demon army. What, what is this? 
I won't reveal Still much more okay. than that, but it's the way the story of those heroes eventually intersects with the story of Makoto that makes me think this season may be even better than the last. Really? Okay. Now, the sequel that I'm even more excited for than that is Danmachi and its unexpected yes. reveal for season 5. Yes. <laughs> and the crazy shit is the girl, because we did a trailer reaction. But Danmachi season 5, the main girl, is another tavern girl, bro. I, mean, I definitely knew it was going to come eventually, but Fear, to be revealed right? so soon after season 4... Well, that was an unexpected surprise I was certainly happy about. Since Season 4 took two and a half years to come after Season 3, I would have expected Season 5 to be revealed at least a year after Season 4. The moon is red. Since it's been revealed now, though, I like to think that perhaps we can expect Season 5 in only a year or so. I hear people saying, like, um, potentially, like, 2020, like, late 2024 or, like, early 2025. I don't know where they're getting the ballpark numbers for, though. The reveal was just to announce that Season 5 was in production, but if we look back on when the announcements were made for previous seasons, Season 2 was announced 18 months before its air date, Season 3 only 13, then that Season arc, 4 man. another 18. So, if we take that information and apply it to here, I think at the latest we can expect... This is the counter between, you know, I trying to hunt down Wiene and Bell protecting Wiene. Yo, that Wiene arc? That scene 3 went... That shit was so emotional. Now that I think about it, that match is actually so goaded, man. Season 2 was so good with the... Well, the war arc and the, the war festival was hype in the beginning, but there was still a lot of threat in the beginning because we were being hunted down. Into, you know, Haruhime arc, which was actually pretty fucking good. Hestia fucking slap... Sorry, not Hestia. Freya slapping the, um... The other goddess that of like what, what was it her name like Aphrodite or something just fucking slaps her off the stairs that was so good season three serious arc with weenie arc that was so emotional season four the most despair we've ever felt in Danmachi holy fuck Danmachi is actually so good I do have the reactions on my old channel that got nuked I do have the backup files though for season two season three I'm not sure if I'm gonna re-upload it season four content is actually on here Eastar sorry not Aphrodite Eastar Eastar got fucking smacked on top of the stairs. That shit was so elegant, too. Freya was... Dude, I hope Freya actually does something, because it's been fucking four seasons, and Freya has not done anything but just fucking strip... Like, she just drinks wine, just watches Belle, and just, like, lusts after her. That's it. She just fucking... It's like, one of these days, Belle, you'll be mine. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? She even, after killing Ishtar, right? After Freya slapped Ishtar and falls down the stairs... She mutters some words. She says, like, I think I love you to Belle. Remember, she says something, but we didn't hear the words. What was that, man? Season 5 by is spring of 2025. Now, if we take a look at the visual and the teaser, both are pretty much heavy. Is that Seer? That's that. Is, is that her? Like, if we go here, right? Is it this girl? You tell me. This is this girl right here right now? Hair color matches, right? What the fuck is that? No spoil. Uh, la, 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 la. Indicators of who I did not see anything. Is going to be focusing on this season. I wasn't sure at first of who this was, but after talking it over Dear. with my chat over on twitch.tv slash any new. Smart man. Twitch.tv. TV. By the way, we're streaming live right now. Go guys, go. Who's underscore? We were able to deduce that this was just Seer with her hair down. It is Seer, right? So, like, all the tavern girls are just gonna get their own fucking... Like, Ryu recently, you know, had her arc with Belle. So, Seer's actually gonna be an important character? I thought these are just random fodder characters. Not fodder, but, like, more or less jobbers, you know? They're just kind of side characters that just chill with us. Since normally she wears her hair in a bun, it was the curls on her bangs that made me certain of it. As for where she's standing... Well, Flower I initially field. thought it was a field between two iconic landmarks, but after closer inspection of what those shadows mm -hmm. might be... I think they're it? just the silhouettes of trees in the background. So, if this is just a made-up setting intended to... So, like, after everything we did with Ryu in Season 4, like, to the death, we're just having, like, near-death situations, right? There was so, so much intimate moments of Belle and Ryu surviving together. They only had each other in the deepest floors of the labyrinth. And they managed to get up and, like, you know, they, they duel all these different monsters, you know. They have this, like, body heat-sharing moment. It's so intimate. But, like, after all that... And, 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 like, even, like, overcoming all that, coming to the top, having a date and everything. You tell me we're going to forget about Ryu. We're going to just forget that she existed. <laughs> and so you're just going to come in. And she's going to be the main girl in season five. That's what? Really? To create visual appeal, 
then I think the more important detail is the flower she's holding. Hey, what is that flower? You see, in a field of red where all the flowers are the same, different flower. it definitely says something that the flower she's holding is both a different type and color. Hmm. Maybe it's to highlight how she herself is different, but it's really hard to say when it comes to a character like hers. I mean, we do know that she's somehow connected. Hair color. Curly bangs. You know in Konosuba, how Eris is actually... What's, what's her name? Chris? You know, the goddess is fucking around in the human realm. Hmm. But how is she connected to Freya? I forget. This is some old, old stuff that I probably didn't, you know, pay attention for. Connected to Freya, but the extent to which that how? is just isn't clear. What is, what is from... Okay, don't spoil me, but anime only. From like season one to four, what is the hints that, you know... Freya is connected to Seer, other than just hair color and the fucking curly bangs here. This did, was, it, was there like an important point? They're at this point. Either way, I'm super hyped to know that we're finally gonna find out more about her. Until now, her story has been the least developed out of anyone. She it just, also makes for a- Bro, straight up! At this rate, if we're gonna fucking pick the tavern girls over and over again for the next arc, like next seasons, Mama Mia right here, this girl right here, is gonna be season six's main girl interest, bro. You know what? I'll be down for it. Tonal shift from all the doom and I hear she's actually a, like a Giga Chat adventure. Like her level is like as strong as like Freya's strongest warrior or some shit. I don't know if that's actually true or not, but I hear her level is actually like like level four or something at least. The gloom of last season. With that giving us our fix of what lies at the depths of the dungeon, it's about time we shift our focus back to Arario. Now, for those wondering what Seer's voiceover was saying in the teaser here, mm. it was pretty much her praising Bell for who he is, then following it up with the declaration that she might be in love. <laughs> A feeling that she very much- What about Ryu? What about season four? <laughs> she didn't share the near life death exchanges. Like, here's the thing. The reason why I think Belle and Ryu are so connected is because of the danger they both felt. When you go through these near life or death scenarios with people and overcome them, somehow you're much more bonded. I've never felt more bonded with the girl in like, if I put myself as like Belle and watching this anime, all of season one, two, three, four. The Haruhime arc, there were some parts of me where I want to save her, but it was not that intimate. Honestly, I was just too horny looking at Aisha. Season 3 though, Wine, that was actually quite dire. In fact, the discrimination, the prejudice against, you know, the, um, I forget the terminology for, you know, intelligent monsters, but you know how they were, they were like, no, we can't trust any of them, right? So there was like a witch hunt for Wine to the point where even fucking, we're fucking fighting ice for it, right? So at that point, it's like, damn, yeah, the Zeno. So... I, as a Wiene, I thought that she was such a captivating girl. She's a child, though, obviously. She's like a little sister. So that bond was very deepened. Ryu is an actual love interest. Season 4, like, similar scenario where it's, again, such near life or death scenarios going on. But we survive it together. We come out on top. We even had, we even fucking stripped our clothes. We're, like, bonding together to share body heat. There's moments where Ryu is, like, blushing. This Sundere girl, look at, no, I don't know if she's actually Sundere, but she's pretty kind of cold, right? Look at her eyes, bro. You've got that mean frown. But to get a girl like that rizzed up to show her daddy side and start like, almost like confessing her love, she's like running away in like a white dress in the finale when she's like talking to Belle and she's like, oh my God, I must like really love him or something. He, she like runs down the street, right? After all that, I thought that Ryu was like the main girl of the story. It's like, who the fuck is Ice? I've forgotten about Ice. I just care about Ryu now. But now you're telling me none of that shit fucking matters. Clear all of that out the window. No. Seer is the next girl, and if they actually deliver, if I, if they can make me get, like get committed to this character, that'll be actually amazing. Trauma. <laughs> well, what can I say, guys? Trauma is a good way to bond over something. Much intends to verify, but yeah, that's pretty much all I can offer on Donmachi so far. Is there anything else? We do have a couple other unexpected. Sequels, I don't think you guys really care about like I, 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 I don't think you guys really care about these other different animes that we're currently watching right now. Ma 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 I even like Madoka, it's like a movie stuff. So I think that's pretty much it for the Zany News videos. I, I just was kind of interested in the Danmachi and the coat stuff, but please guys, give them a like. Give him a like, subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed it. By the way, we do these reactions live on stream on YouTube and Twitch 7 a.m. PST every day. So hope to see you there.